Every healthy boy grows into an adult man. Growing up is natural, and it's full of new experiences common to every boy. Because it comes with lots of questions, including questions about your developing body and the responsibilities that go with it, this is a presentation for boys your age. It may not answer all your questions, that's what parents are for, but it's a start. Boys around your age begin to experience some important changes inside and out on their way to maturing into teenage boys and then young men. Along with your physical body developing, you will have new experiences and responsibilities. Most of these changes occur gradually. There's plenty of time. Still, it's best to be prepared. Knowing some of what to expect can help you surf through the growing up years more smoothly and with confidence. There is a lot to this growing up business called maturation. Four important ways you will eventually reach maturity are like the four legs of a table. You will develop mentally, socially, emotionally, and physically. As you grow, you will develop mentally, that is, gain lots of knowledge. You will learn basic skills you will need throughout life. You will have lots of practice in solving problems and making decisions for yourself in preparation for adult life. You'll also mature socially. Maturing socially means getting along well with others. It means developing healthy human relationships. As you grow up, you'll continue to develop and enjoy family relationships. Your family is where you should feel most loved and secure and learn what's most important in life. From your parents, you acquire a sense of beliefs and values as you grow up, as in learning the difference between right and wrong. This includes realizing all things that should be respected, cultivated, and appreciated. Examples of these things are unselfishness, work, responsibility, decency, and kindness, which you can practice every day as a member of your family. Social maturing also includes more interaction with people outside your family and with more kids your age or peers. At work and at play, at school and at church, you can develop many healthy relationships. Good friends and wholesome activities are important to all areas of every boy's development. All boys should be careful to treat each other as fellow males. All boys are male in the ways that really matter. No teasing or name-calling. By respecting one another, regardless of different talents, abilities, or interests, boys can really help each other develop masculinity, that is, manliness. If you have been unkind to any of your fellow boys, now is a good time to change that and begin treating all other boys with respect. Here's a tip. Boys must feel confident among each other in order to feel confident later with girls. Remember, every boy has everything it takes to eventually become a grown-up man, to marry and become a father. Puberty is a word used to describe the first stage of children physically growing toward becoming adult men and women. Both girls and boys go through puberty, but in some very different ways. Generally, Girls start the process of puberty before boys do. With puberty begins some changes to the male body you're going to hear about next. Every boy has his own timetable as to when these various developments occur, sometime between the ages of 9 and 16. The physical changes happen on their own. These normal developments are a part of life and prepare you for manhood, marriage, and fatherhood. Just think. All boys eventually grow up into men and then can get married and become fathers and even grandfathers. That's great. In puberty, the pituitary gland, located at the base of the brain, acts like an alarm clock going off, as if the body's music is waking up parts of your body that haven't been needed yet. The pituitary gland is called the big boss gland because it tells all the other glands to get to work. 
Glands produce cells called hormones that are circulated throughout the body, affecting the activities of other cells. In puberty, the pituitary gland triggers the hormones that bring about natural male maturation. Let's learn how. The thyroid gland, located at the base of the neck, controls your metabolism. That is, how your body uses its fuel, meaning the food you eat. It also tells your body to start growing, although some parts might grow faster or slower than others, such as your feet having a growth spurt. Interestingly, your brain develops slower than your body. It won't be fully developed until your mid-twenties, though you will be physically grown years before that. The adrenal glands, located above the kidneys, release hormones that give you bursts of energy and strength in times of excitement or emotional stress. The glands we've mentioned, and more, are included in the endocrine system. Another endocrine gland is the testes. Testicles produce the male hormone testosterone. During puberty, the various endocrine glands are responsible for big changes. Let's stop here for a moment and talk about them. You will experience muscle development and the appearance of body hair, such as under the arms and in the groin area. Your glands will begin to produce sperm and cause the testes to descend to a lower position. You will also begin to experience nocturnal emissions or wet dreams. These are not daily occurrences but happen only occasionally. A wet dream occurs at night when you're asleep and is an involuntary secretion of semen from the opening of the penis. Semen is a thick whitish liquid containing sperm. Wet dreams are nothing to worry about. You'll just need to get up and change your underwear. This may be a bit inconvenient, but this natural development shows that your body is working properly and will be capable of fathering a child when you are grown up and married. Another change will be a deepening of your voice. For some boys, this is quite noticeable, and for others, it happens gradually. These events occur according to your body's own timetable, and everybody's a bit different. Boys come in different sizes and shapes. Boys have a variety of talents, interests, and strengths. But all boys are the same in the important ways we've been discussing. Remember, all of these changes are healthy and natural in preparation for manhood, choosing a mate, marriage, and fatherhood. Because puberty is such an adjustment, it is not uncommon for boys to experience emotions and feelings they haven't had before. These can take the form of feeling happy one minute and sad the next, or feeling full of energy one day and feeling extra tired the next. This may well be caused by your glands releasing the hormones we talked about. Try to remember that your hormones are regulating and will eventually balance out. Life won't always feel like an emotional roller coaster ride. In puberty, boys begin experiencing a desire for some privacy and a new feeling of independence. And sooner or later, boys should find themselves becoming interested in girls. Sometime during puberty, it will become obvious to you how different girls are than boys. And that's pretty interesting. <laughs>